stream. There we go, stream deck is cooperating. <laughs> uh, oh, hi everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... First mate to Rakia, at your service. No idea why I suddenly speak Scottish. <laughs> uh, too much DuckTales. But, that yeah. or the my character here is Scottish. <laughs> Probably uh, just accidentally Scottish. entered. <laughs> But yeah, welcome back to No One Lives Forever. Uh, a bit, just a bit short of when we would have canned uh, a stream if we'd had to go past 9 p.m. because, well, Brickyo sleep uh, needs to be sleeping by around 11. But uh, yeah, last time we got started on this game. Uh, so let's continue on. Select mission. We're still going on easy because we still got to get our ass kicked on easy. And let's see, Wrecking for a Spy, the Markon assignment was clearly a trap. There's little doubt the Unity, yeah, that Unity's clandestine, uh, clandestine operations section has been compromised, but by whom? Despite the risks, there is still work to be done. For better or worse, Kate is the only available operative. Needless to say, the Morocco assignment was an unmitigated desire. Yeah, we've heard all of this before. Actually, shouldn't we be able to just load in? Yeah, load game. Quick loads. Yeah, Requiem for a Spy. There we go. This way yeah. we skip all of that. Yeah, also, the narrator for the mission briefing. That's Jones. Uh, yeah, like, his ring. I recognize his voice actor. No. Oh. I think he's a veteran. Uh, seeing as this game came out 22 years ago, about. Uh, yeah, you could say they're a veteran by now. Yeah, and that's not elite. He may have done spy, spy games such before this. <laughs> okay, well, we have a habit of looking up people's names in IMDb of Game Three Stream, so we'll do that next no, no, time. No, 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 no. You <laughs> added a habit to do that. Don't, don't mix me into what you do. <laughs> Simply put them on, orient the viewfinder, and snap a shot. Remember that you can zoom in for a closer look at a distant target. <laughs> Take a picture of this intelligence item with your sunglasses. Again, a clear sign that this game wasn't really made for widescreen. All right, now open the door to the next area. And yeah, these glasses is what we would have needed in the previous, uh, previous mission to photograph the uh, attendance log. It wouldn't be spy work without destroying some things. All right, now open the door to the next area. And now we get to the fun stuff. Now I just had to look away for a short moment. Yep, <laughs> lipstick bombs. <laughs> okay, that that's new. Usually, when they have a lipstick spy two, it's usually some kind of laser or a lightsaber. <laughs> no, just straight up a motherfucking grenade. <laughs> uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, let's take a look at that again. Yeah, they took it away once we exited the room. Oh, right, well, I just realized something, uh, like, it, it looked rather obvious it was a grenade. Yeah, that, that, was, yeah, that was because it was deployed. Uh, can we run back? Uh, the lower end uh, extended out once it was activated, once we picked, we primed it by well, selecting it. There are several important things to know about security cameras. First, oh dear. Oh. is likely to send someone to investigate or even sound an alarm if any of the cameras goes out. Instead, oh. try to avoid them altogether. If the light on a camera starts flashing, it means you've been detected and the camera is attempting to focus on you. 
duck out of sight before you're identified as a threat. If you're close enough to the camera, you'll actually hear it focusing. Listen for it to resume scanning before stepping back into view. Finally, make sure not to leave any bodies lying in view of a camera. That's just as bad as being spotted. All right, now open the door to the next area. But I'm just gonna leave the call shortly to fix a thing here. Okay. And yeah, there's the cameras, and like they said, don't destroy them if it can be helped. Nope. Which is actually a rarity. In most games, you can just, in general, destroy cameras without too much recomp uh, without too much uh, repercussions. Go ahead, that did not fix it. Oh, well, I guess I'll leave it alone. I, I think Discord... Shooting them out will likely cause every bit as much commotion as being caught in the beam. Figure out their movement patterns before attempting to bypass them. All right, now open the door to the next area. Right. Yes. <laughs> but the thing is, this could have the weird thing again that he thinks I'm still talking. Okay. Hmm. It's not sending. Yeah, it, it's causing you to flash, but it's not actually putting out any in uh, any audio. Yeah. I, I, some time ago when it did that, I just need to. Hop in and out, and it got fixed, but this time not. And, I don't know yeah. what is causing that for... It is random when it happens. Excellent. Excellent. And there we go. But yeah, unlike most spy games, we can't... Uh, in, mo in most stealth games, like Splinter Cell and such, you can shoot out cameras and search lights without too much of a reaction, but in this game, it's the opposite. <laughs> We've been contacted by Dr. Otto Schenker, an East German biophysicist who we believe is working on a top-secret biological weapons program for the Soviet Union. Dr. Schenker has expressed a desire to defect. He has asked us to assist him in exchange for information on his research. This opportunity couldn't have arisen at a worse time. After that embarrassment in Morocco, you're hardly our first choice to handle this affair, but all our other surviving operatives are tied up on equally critical assignments. If we want a chance at Schenker, it has to be now, and it has to be you, on your own. Yeah. <laughs> we're, not getting yeah. Much, we're not getting much confidence uh, put into us. Yeah, what do you say? Thanks for the confidence boost. Let's see. Infiltrate the research compound, set explosive charges, photograph classified documents, rendezvous with Werner von Hemd and offer him a light, locate Dr. Shanker, escape East Berlin with Dr. Shanker. Let's see. What is our default? We have the Shepherd, a silencer, enough ammo to last us through the entire thing, the SMG, now that we've got collected that, well, again, with. We still use the same ammo, so that that is shared. Impact explosives <laughs> and the sunglasses, as well Wait, as. Hmm? Can we take a look at the lipstick grenade? Yeah, give me a second. Uh, and the rest of the equipment that we had. Okay, and somebody tells me that the ball is supposed to be hidden behind your hand palm. Yeah. But otherwise, that is very obviously a sign of something that's not a normal lipstick. Yeah, you could call it a, a designer thing. That it, I think you, I think these lipsticks are loaded in from the back. So, yeah, the only thing that really has to be done with the back is to be able to twist it, and while well, we twist it to activate it. Weird. September 17th, Stasi Records and Research, East Berlin. Wait, they got the dates wrong. It's 1st October today. <laughs> Let's see, this part is going to be interesting because we have to... Well, uh, we got this covered last time. We, we doing basically... Uh, <clears throat> what was it called again? Uh, I forget how it's called, but basically each of our contacts has one bit of information that is useless on their own, but we need to find them and get it from them to piece it all together. Leave me alone. 
And of course, we'll first have to find our <coughs> contacts. Let's see, do we have any info on where they are? It's the flashlight. There's our inventory. Uh, what was the button for the objectives again? Hmm. Oh, I'm guessing it's you. Guten Abend, Fräulein. Do you make love to strangers? Certainly not. Then allow me to introduce myself. Why not just introduce yourself to a police officer and spare me the trouble? Who makes up these ghastly code phrases anyway? Someone in the cryptography department. Someone in need of a girlfriend, apparently. What do you have for me? Just this. The entrance is hidden. Thank you. Good luck. Oop. What's all it? Ah, there? Uh, no, 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 on to that. <laughs> Just a sec. Oh, I still remember these sounds and hate them. Are you free tonight? Or will it cost me? More than you can afford. Why must I be made to say such idiotic things? Never mind that. <laughs> Just tell me what you have. I was told to say in the basement. Thank you. Tell the person who wrote the code phrase to grow up. <laughs> Also this, let's see, building maintenance from Lieutenant Dietrich. The subtunnel beneath the Stasi's you know, records and research facility is flooded again. Please send crew. The stench is unbearable. I've already fainted twice today. Uh. Wait, I wonder what more things you forgot uh, in there. That's... And just some junk. Oh. Let's see, I doubt you are next. Hey, dick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, you're, you're, oh, you're seriously gonna do that again? <laughs> I gotta check. <laughs> no, this is harassment. Uh, if it was, if the, you know, it was one place constantly, then it would be. But if I keep <laughs> knocking on every other door, it's not. Well. If you did this in UK, you'd be arrested. For it's illegal to do that. Would you like a drink? Okay, not here yet. I remember there being a contact in there. Uh, seriously, where where is the objective spot? And again, uh, look, looking bloody <laughs> controls. Uh, let's see. Crouch, turn around, always run. Use view object. Hmm. Okay, again, an object, a button that seems to be missing from the listing. Yeah, we have hidden in the basement. <coughs> Hold on. Hmm. Let's see, I remember one of the contacts is through that, but we missed the pop-up of <laughs> where the next contact is. Oh dear, nobody's home. Nope. Dead end. Okay, not there. That's a dead end. How the hell did you get here in the first place? <laughs> uh, seriously, where is our objectives list? Oh, there. Oh, ring 205. Okay. Go upstairs, knock on the door. Is it? There's not many spy ones that do question the rule. Yeah. To come in for a game of Twister? I'd rather run over you with my car. These code phrases have a somewhat confessional tone to them, don't you think? Yeah, now that you mention it. <laughs> I'm guessing it is someone's... Uh, it's the responses that someone has had to the advances on people. <laughs> Yeah, but also probably a bit of a pet peeve to spy talks in movies. <sighs> but I think there's been some games and movies that done it well, but I also mean that um, don't draw Stupid. the pool away. Hmm? That there's a lot that do it stupidly by like it's being it's obvious as a code phrase. Yeah, it says of the library. 
Okay, hidden in the lab yeah, hidden in the basement of the library. And now the contact in the bar, which I think is the last one. <laughs> uh. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I need to explain what that translates to. Yeah, and also we think there has been some one that has questioned the rule ID of code faces and put it out. It's a very flawed method. You are the most beautiful girl I have ever seen. Can you cook and clean too? No, but I can oh. put you in the hospital if you want. Maybe you can find someone to take care of you there. Maybe. What sort of imbecile says things like this? I'm afraid to find out. By the way, I am supposed to tell you this. Behind the shelf. Thanks. Please don't think that I enjoyed saying those things to you. Even though the words were not mine, I am so disgusted with myself that I must return home and wash myself with soap. Don't worry about it. You are a kind young woman. I wish you luck. The entrance is hidden in the basement of the library behind the shelf. Hmm. Let me say this. Her co-workers are at least uh, nice. Yeah. They be, yeah, they're they're doing field work as well, so of course they they know how tough it can be in the fields. Now then, let's see. Bribe the gate car guards. Okay. What are you doing here? I found this money on the ground outside. I thought it might be yours. Oscar Seichnet, go quickly. Do not get caught. That was easy. Okay. Okay, that one was a little bit more believable. <laughs> did she really say that to you? Yeah, can you believe it? So what did you do? What do you think I did? I know what I would have done. Then you have your answer. So, how was she? What do you mean? You know what I mean. No, I don't. You know... What? I didn't say that. What did you say? Why do you even have to ask? I didn't think I had to ask. But I guess I was wrong. You should get your mind out of the gutter. Get some Teufel. What? Uh, one of them assumed that they had sex with... <laughs> that the other one had sex with the, <laughs> the woman they met. Okay, that I got to us. What the heck was the last word? Uh, that one I actually don't know, so we can look up a translator. Yeah. Also, are you able to translate this? Uh, mostly. Uh, for Zicht, it means basically warning, I believe. Jekyll's uh, personnel must sich steeds outreizen kunnen. Yeah, I believe this translates to personnel must be able to authenticate or identify themselves. Uh, these are... Uh, oh. Uh, Uber uh, Transgression would be the best translation I could find. Breaking the rule. Uh, in, it would translate to over tra trading in Dutch, which would mean... Yeah. Uh, Uber trading... Uh, Walking over oh. would be a direct translation. Uh, uh, breaking the rule, or of breaking the rule, can zur that something's missing. I think. Regel means rule, correct? Uh, yeah. We have the same here in Sweden. Okay. Uh, so I, I was only able to translate extremely little of that, like personal. That, that one, I understand what it means. Yeah, personal <laughs> barracks, maybe? Wait. Uh, weapon registration or the barracks? Finances? Or, yeah, that would basically translate to finance something. Communications, yeah, control... That one I actually couldn't... That one I could con translate, actually. Oh? I must took that the entire sentence for Swedish. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, what, what does it translate to then? Uh, communication control laborato laboratory? Or work something, maybe? And that is oh, civilian archives. The lowest one. Okay, we yeah. can't kill that guy yeah, there. Yeah, the, the only word I got to be confused was about the labor. The other two words, come the cocoons, control, easy. That's what... Are they supposed to be that noisy? Nope. <laughs> nope. He's coming this way. I'm going to try and be stealthy, but... Oh. Come on, that doesn't open. Oh, knock in the door with a knife! Oh, wait, it's the wrong end. Oh, I hadn't noticed that one. Yeah, there's a lot of cameras here. And hopefully... Okay, he's not noticing us. But uh, oh, that went to shit quick. Oh, and the grenade got rid of the, the grenade got rid of the lock. Wait, where, where did the grenade come from? The other guard must have thrown it right into her face. Yes, one. What the heck? Uh, I saw, I saw, oh, they actually shot you with a rocket launcher. <laughs> uh, and yeah, this is what the alarms will sound like most of the time. We're all the time, I believe. So, yeah, now we need to go shut that thing up. Yeah, and uh, th that's what you get for getting cocky. You're not as cocky as the dude who thought he would need to do a combat roll immediately. Yeah, I, I think that has been busted. That, it, that is one of the worst moves you can do. Yeah, for so one, ring. you're being incredibly... Uh, it's incredibly obvious where you're going to end up with that. Oop. Yeah, Oop. It, it, and it's not really an easy move you can stop yourself in. During which you are completely vulnerable the entire time. Oh, hello, Kalashnikov. <laughs> okay, where the hell is the wait, alarm wait. then? Are you meaning a... Is that... An AK? Yep. I can't forget that that's its actual name or nickname. Oh, hello. How did I miss that one? Let's open that gate. We would have... Well, you have to sneak him out anyways. Oop, someone's shooting. And that one's disabled. Okay, there we go. This one is open, and that puts us out here. Since the alarm is going anyways, we might as well loot these two. This ammo is going to be, well, mostly found on location. We're not going to find many of those ammo boxes, I believe. Oh, but yeah, this, this basically ruins any real chance we had of getting Goon uh, dialogue. Uh, let's uh, bioforensic or bio. No. Some an archive and some. Oh. Okay. Yeah, the assault rifles, of course, fire a lot faster, but they also give a lot more spreads. But they each round should do more damage. If I can at least get a hit with them. Can I leave that open? Now then. I saw someone in there. Luckily the dogs are locked up. So they're not a threat to us. There's probably a switch somewhere. Ooh. Hell, don't open jinx it. <laughs> oh, 
Thank you. As of today, Manual 47A supersedes all previous employee manuals. Refer to page 1158 for the correct procedure for returning obsolete manuals. Remember to obtain the correct authorization for requesting the appropriate submission forms. You are being watched. So, I think I clicked out the game. There we go. Sorry if that caused anything. Let's see. This is an alert switch, so we have no use for that. There we go. Just as I said earlier, that we wouldn't be finding many of these. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just, just, just go and keep yinxing yourself. <laughs> Left to right. Okay, there's people behind those. Oop, my... I think I shot the guy in the face through the searchlight there. Because it looked like it was dropping immediately. That's oh yeah, so much for stealth in this area. There we go. One area done. And for some reason this places it on high alert because the first, even though the first area was on high alert. Okay. Uh, set three explosives and photograph classified documents in the library. Miss Archer, if you find yourself in dire need of a certain gadget, such as a lighter, that you elected not to bring with you into a mission, you'll most likely find one somewhere in the area. Werner from Khan, Hunt. Okay, again, making sure uh, making sure that even if you missed, it didn't pick something with, there's one for you to find in the game, in, or in the, in the level itself. Do you just shoot him in the throat? About, I think. Okay, I hear a camera. It's not here, so it must be inside somewhere. Here. Wait. Yeah, it's a very oh, it's loud... the camera making a sound? Are you worried of something in the box? Did you hear what happened to Dieter? No, what? He took his mistress out to dinner the other night, and his wife's sister walked in. My God, in him! That's not the worst part. Of course there was a scene. Of course. So he takes his girlfriend home, and they have a horrible argument about it. She wants him to leave his wife. Predictable. Anyway, they split up. Poor Dieter. It gets worse. I'm not sure I want to hear. So he comes home expecting another fight. But the house is dark, so he thinks nobody's home. His wife already left? That's what he thought. But when he gets inside, he hears something. Oh, no. <laughs> exactly. His wife is in the bedroom with her lover. So what happened? Lots of shouting, mostly. In the end, his wife left with her lover. She hasn't been back since. What about his girlfriend? She's still not speaking to him. Poor bastard. He should have been more discreet. Uh. Holy. Um, yeah. Oop. Oh, someone in the chat? Hey, Noon. Hello, Noon. What's a good fox? Oh, crap. I forgot about the camera. Uh, how are you doing, Noon? Uh, how did how did they not notice this? <laughs> did I just shoot? Oh, <laughs> they shot the explosive. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, I, was, I was going to say, didn't I just shoot that guy in the dick twice and he still ran away? <laughs> okay. Let's see here. From Nguyen. Well, today... W I don't know why I said a st talking accent there. <laughs> well, today was an exception... Wait, today was an exception about being good, okay? 
I'm doing good. Okay. Any speaking codes? Ooh. There's another one there. We should have some body remover. If we get a kill that would be in sight of someone. But, uh, yeah. Doing good is better than doing worse. That is true. Well, at least we don't have to hear about Dieter's stuff again now. And none of them start to run for an alarm. Okay. Dieter may be an idiot to even do that. She's still not speaking to him. Never mind. Somehow that guy just absolutely missed the gunfire happening outside. Uh, Hidian. He was talking alone. I don't uh, think the, the AI had noticed the one he was supposed to talk to had walked out. Uh, uh, I, I was going to say, Dieter should not be uh, had to be gone with to do any cheating at all. But at the yep. same time... Car uh, my hit hard on him. Yep. Okay. Um, that camera noise is going to get so on someone's nerves. Mm -hmm. I can hear only one pair of footsteps. Now, he's probably in sight of a camera there. So... Did you hear that? Wait, was that two voices? Yeah, I heard it. And that was too close. Just... Yeah, but but there was someone... Oh, he died from the dum-dum rounds. This guy is just so luckily placed here, just a bit further and the camera would have spotted him. There's the second explosive. Remember the camera? Yep. Come on. I'm hearing both of them at the same time, so I can't hear when this one is moving away or not there. We just got really lucky with these guys. Wait, why is he dead? Yeah, the dum dum round causes bleeding damage. Are you telling me he let out before reaching the alarm? If there is there even an alarm button in here? Nope. No, there's not. <laughs> so he was running for cover and bled out in cover. Maybe he had hoped you would run into the camera? Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, we're headed that way next. I haven't heard any footsteps in a bit. Come. I'm just going to have to risk it. For a biscuit? And some C4. What sort of biscuit would you make out of C4, anyways? <laughs> Well, one that's probably bad for your digestion system. Okay. Oh, wait, they did use nitroglycerin for medicine. Yep. This still terrifies me. There's another pair of those barrels. And for those people who don't know, nitroglycerin is... Um... The stuff you How shake this... and goes boom. Yeah, like... You... You're supposed to be very careful, and here's the worst part. You find very old dynamite in a jungle or in a cave and such? Don't... Touch it! Yeah. Nitroglycerin does go bad after time, but you'll still not want to risk it. And there's the explosive. Yeah, and because of dynamite, it basically sweats nitroglycerin. 
so depending how old the dynamite is and in what weather condition has been in just don't touch it i think they showed in lost what could happen to I, I, i'm sure people have proven that's not what would happen with the bomb or i have to check that up again for, i forgot it was it would not happen or like that or mm. the, that uh, just him that he should have gone off way earlier after he picked it up for yeah Dynamite has not been kept in good condition. It's dangerous to just don't touch. Just lifting it up, just lifting one up from the basket mm. box can be enough to set it off without lighting it. Should be out of sight. Oh yeah, we got luck. We got lucky so far. Let's try and stealth through whatever's left of this mission. I think but in the next getting... part we are requires to be stealthy. Yeah. Okay. That is it. For noon? What do you mean? You have to light it, of course. Oh dear. Let's see. I think Did this means. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, go on. <laughs> the, from Foreman Finkel, employee 78892 Willem Vandervoort has been participating in illegal arm wrestling matches. Please discipline immediately. Really? <laughs> oh, it's an ashtray. I think that was something that we've seen a few times now already and <laughs> mistook for something else. <laughs> yeah, uh, they, they smoke a lot during this era. And as for new noon, I think it would be very wise for everyone to keep you away from explosives. There's two for in here. For yourself and everyone else's safety. There's three in there. This is probably going to end up in a shootout. He's suspicious of something, so he must have gotten a glimpse. Oh, he's actually coming to look. Just, just throw a, uh, a porn mag, and they'll be and they're distracted enough. That wasn't close enough. Are you sure? Yeah. I do like how they have separate alert states, and that it's not just ev everyone in the building in all at once. So that last guy was still as suspicious because he he was further away from the gunshots. Yeah, I, I kind of dislike when it happens. Again. Like sometimes I do get it. Like if you shoot someone with a lock, rocket launcher, <laughs> of course everyone gonna hear it. Yeah. But when you use something like uh like this, yeah, then the entire base should not be alerted. Someone else here. And there's still someone else. You can still hear footsteps. Where's that camera? Oh, oh that's a lucky ease underneath its sight. Someone in here. Now, so I can't tell if I'm going slow or fast. Ooh. Whilst crouching like this, it does feel like I'm going faster. Uh, let's see. Footsteps in this direction. I think. Where are you? I don't want to set up the camera. Pizza! Ah, it worked! And that's. The heck were you doing in there, dumbass? Was he stuck in here? 
Yeah, of course. I don't think there's many people left in the, this area. So, screw you. I, wait, hold on. Let, let, hold on, I just know something mm. wrong with that uh, calendar. Mm. Um, I think the calendar is... Um, how to say this? Not historically accurate. Normal footsteps. That looks a bit more high quality than the canvas of the time would be, yeah. Yeah, and the wrong kind of the bikinis as well. <laughs> it's to all Section 7 uh, uh, personnel from Director Gerdhardt. I regret to inform you of the recent death of employee 679147, whose demise can be blamed only upon his own incompetence. Services will be held Saturday from 11 to... 11 to 11.05. If you wish to attend, make sure to bring a signed copy of Form 1173A. I think you can guess as to one reason why the Soviet Union fell apart. <laughs> Over bullshit <laughs> bureaucracy. Yeah, but... Uh, okay, so I have heard of the term control freak, but... Yeah, this is something else. Let's see anything in here? Some body armor. Could always use a top up. Can I go and refill my glass? Okay. So noon, make sure Helian doesn't die while I'm away. <laughs> There's nothing to get in there, so we probably get stuck if we try to jump over that. We can't jump over that, so this is the only way. Okay. Starting to run a bit low on dumb dumb rounds, but oh well. We still have plenty of normal ammo. Now we just need to find where we can turn off the alarm. And back in. Who are you calling dumb dumb? The dum dum rounds. <laughs> yep. Let's see. I hate this alarm sound. All the more reason to try and be stealthy when we can. Hello? Uh, Director von Stein, or from Director von Stein, to ensure the well-being of our an animal sanitation engineers, each of you will be assigned a safety partner, to whom it will be your responsibility to apply inflammatory ointments three times a day. Remember, your lives are in each other's hands. What? Wait, Director of Stone? That's a name? I, I, I did translate that right, I hope. Uh, about, I think. Let's see. It just loops back to here. Actually, since we're loud anyways now... Okay, here's the library. I believe there are shortcuts for each of these. But it's easier to just roll through it like that. Here we go. Okay. Now we need to find the inside mine. And where the hell to shut this up? I'm... Did you really not hear anything with <laughs> over the alarm or anything? So who the hell were you talking to and... Oh, hello. Floating lighter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, pull that. Break your legs. Thing. <laughs> okay, we'll have to do with the alarm for a bit then. There we go. Hey, don't burn him! Care for a light? <laughs> So clandestine with the blaring alerts. Dunk. I 
I seem to have lost my phone number. Can I have yours? I'm in the book. Just look under police department. You're late. Sorry, I did my best. No matter. Here, take this visitor ID card. It identifies you as the Commandant's niece, Hannah. It will get you past the front desk, then you're on your own. The staff should ignore you, but watch out for guards and security cameras. They won't be fooled by your disguise. Thank you. Go now. With your cart, I won't be able to help. I understand. I almost forgot. I thought you might like this. Okay, and again, being uh, being kind got us extra intel. So again, we still need to find where the hell to even uh, look that up. Because we have some of the stuff that we collected didn't get to. Uh, uh, yeah, it didn't say what it actually said, if anything at all. Yeah, and Let's again, see. I like her co workers more than a certain someone. Yeah. Always check underneath the stairs because there's always stuff hidden. Almost always. Uh, where the hell do we even locate the hidden entrance in the facility? Uh, oh, yeah. Not doing that again. <laughs> I'm too used to fall damage being from greater heights than that. Okay, so in the basement, behind the shelf. Uh, basement what? is this way. Now, uh, the, the codes. Hmm? You may want to take a look at chat. <laughs> Someone's suffering from... A, oh. yeah, in the basement of the library. Yeah, didn't actually go here. Wait, who's suffering in the basement of the library? No, in the basement of the library, it's uh, behind a shell. Alright, and what was the suffering part? No, no suffering, but <laughs> I guess Noon is suffering from a... What would you even call Stockholm Syndrome from a sound? This isn't going to be easy. Fortunately. Want anything to drink? Sure. What do you want? Very funny. I have to amuse myself somehow. One three CP soda coming up. Three CP soda what? Wait, is it free? Oh! You don't get it, Hillian? Nope. C C C C C P. <laughs> now you get it? Yeah. That, that, that yeah. was this Soviet intelligence bureau or something? She said something, but I got skipped quick. Uh. Okay. So we need to avoid the soldiers as best we can. I'm actually going to try something here. I think we should be able to knock people out if we get up behind them. Okay, walking into him doesn't seem to be setting him off. So here's hoping. There we go. Thank you. So that does work. And that also confirms that the cameras have a limited range. Okay. There's another guard over there. Oh. So much for stealth. <laughs> Not surprised. Uh, my, my bad streak with stealth games continues. Okay. At the very least, we can still go around. Invoice 679 case of CCP soda grade B. Payment due 10 days. Okay. I feel like I uh, due to the consistent pun barrage from you, I may be prepared for that joke. 
let's see. Two animal services from Lab 42. What have you done to the version and poor animals? The explosion ratio is significantly smaller than the version 3 animals. Please investigate immediately. Um, okay. Wait, what? <laughs> I think that's supposed to be a, some sort of joke on the uh, the Russian anti-tank dogs or something. Oh no. I think we've told of that before, but basically what happened was that during World War II, uh, Soviet soldiers trained uh, dogs to find uh, food underneath tanks, only they forgot to bring in German tanks for the training. So when they release the dogs with explosives tied to their backs, uh, you can guess what tanks they headed for. Yeah, that's a disaster. Uh, a blueprint for new goat pens in sub-basement 42. Okay. Oh no, it was me of another incident that I think happened in America. It was, I think it was during the Vietnam War that they planned to... to uh, move over bats with explosives over there but during testing one of the bats with explosives escaped and blew up it wouldn't be the first time uh, that uh, <laughs> winged animals were being used as bomb carriers yeah but uh, just that incident just the uh, yeah the budget was cut on that project quickly yeah Okay, taking a bit of time going down here. I was still wonder how damn true was it that USA really tried to train dolphins, oh. that attack <laughs> dolphins? Uh, I doubt that somewhat. Oop. Yeah, it, you you really hear it nowadays, but it was a trope. It got a bit, bit of like. Common joke in moves and such that like kind of died out. Dear Bettina, I think you are very pretty. Would you like to go out with me? Classified. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, um, no, you was me. One day I got a letter that there had the wool. But it was not classified, but it was one of those that you only get for the government if there's something very important. And we went, my, my mother were freaking wondering what, what, what happened? Why does the government want with me? Would it would be serious. So we don't burn up the letter and it was a online casino. Wanted me, my men, uh, wanted me to uh, join the site. Yeah. It was basically an ad. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that stuff's supposed to be illegal. It was. My mother was here and said that this is that that's illegal. They, I forget which casino that did this, but they were probably all ones that did it once. I think they I haven't seen their commercial in ages. So, For good yeah. reason, probably. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be fun. The radiology department. I'll be taking that. Contains an unidentified animal part. What kind of fucking radioactive rabbits are you trying to breed here? Uh, and this just leads also, back. Oh, right. Just remembering makes me a bit pissed off. For it did see it even say important on all over it. Oh, this is this isn't where we were before. This is new. Okay. But yeah, just the idea is of a government papers with a lot of wording of important. You open up and it's a casino commercial paper. Still have work to do. Yep, that's the exit. It, who, who would it be pissed off? Yeah. Like you, you blood pressures already have me nervous, wondering what is going on, and you're an ad. Uh, luckily, I don't remember anything like that happening to me ever, but I have heard that that still happens with somewhat regularity in some places. 
Oh, bloody heck. It, yeah, it, it should be punishable. I don't mind me just coming through. And there's the good doctor. You must be Dr. Schenker. Who are you? We'll have time for introductions later. Our first priority is to get out of here. They sent a woman to liberate me? My God in Himmel. You can lodge a formal complaint the minute we set foot on Western soil. In the meantime, can we go? This was not part of the arrangement. She is here! Excuse me for a moment, Doctor. Don't let her get away! Okay, not one of them thought to shoot through the glass. <laughs> As I was saying, perhaps we should go. It seems I have no choice. Ein moment, bitte, my friend. Right, right. I can see him valuing, valuing that uh, picture. What is that weird hip movement that they sometimes do when they get shot on the hips? And it looks like, yeah, bodies still... Bodies still take hits even when they aren't dead yet. So they actually act as, well, literal meat shields to anyone standing behind them. Okay, and uh, weird hip movements? Wait, is it? Oh, I think we need to go find Shanker again because he cowers when there's gunfire. Uh, I think sometimes when we shoot them, they make a, you know, that the the lower that the legs seem to shoot back somewhat. Okay, come on. Uh, maybe it'll be more noticeable in the stream itself. Okay, come on, keep up. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. The fuck did you find a rocket launcher, Kate? <laughs> Oop, just pop in. <laughs> Good girl. Wait, is that? During the fight, had an attempt to learn as much as possible from Dr. Schenker about his research. Schenker is a notoriously cautious man, so direct questions are not advised. He is also reported to have little tolerance for skeptics. Try to keep an open mind. And here we continue with uh, the dialogue. Let's see. Learn what you can from Dr. Schenker. Uh, default equipment is just uh, SMG and a pistol. Because, yeah, we're just on the flight back. What could ever go wrong? Speaking, we have reached a cruising altitude of 24,000 feet and will soon be leaving German airspace. I've turned off the seat belt and no smoking sign. Feel free to move about the cabin. We'll be arriving in London at approximately 6.15 p.m. local time. The temperature is currently 25 degrees centigrade, clear skies. I think we can expect a lovely, relaxing flight. What about your wife? Will she be joining you in England? There's talk for fire. Pardon me, I must get used to speaking English. My wife died two years ago. My condolences, Doctor. I wasn't aware. There's no mention of her demise in our files. It was not made public. There was an accident at the laboratory during an experiment. She was killed. You are familiar with my line of research? So why is this music staying on? Quite so. I am... I was the head of the Biological Explosives Research Team. Biological Explosives? Sounds rather outlandish, frankly. Perhaps. Also very real and very dangerous. 
Imagine an undetectable chemical reagent which can be injected into a living host. The reagent causes a reaction in the organism that culminates in a massive explosion that feeds on organic material. In other words, the effective range of the weapon is dictated by the amount of catalyst in the reagent and the population density at ground zero. In a city, the death toll could be tens of thousands. The speed of the reaction can be controlled with great accuracy by the chemical composition of the reagent. Human time bombs. Quite so. Yeah! Oh. Good thing we pull them out. <laughs> Okay, this is... This is a new variant! Yep. How is such a thing possible? Ah, I spent many years trying to answer that very question. Perhaps you'd care to read an article I've been preparing on the subject. It's rather fundamental, but it will give you a foundation for understanding the larger issues. I'm deeply honored. Don't mention it. I feel it is my duty to reward open-mindedness and imagination whenever the opportunity arises. You would make a fine pupil. By the way, I never thanked you. I'm sorry I doubted your confidence. Apology accepted. And that's that bit, and uh, here comes trouble. Uh, we are in position. You know what to do, Sonny. Yes, sir. Initiating docking procedure and jamming our communications. Get up, laddies! We're going aboard! What is loss? I'm not sure. Stay here while I investigate. Keep this door locked. I don't want to be here all day. Would you come out? We've all got it anyways. Okay, putting up a quick save. Hey, Pat, and... forget about it, eh? Come on! Now we're dealing with the Australian branch. Oh, what the f <laughs> Wait, okay. what? Now the accent, it sounds very much Australian to me, if you ask me. <laughs> Let's see, Unity in this... In this... In... In a theory? Flight U7, Berlin to London, depart 700. London to headquarters depart 900, arrive 1100 EMT. Okay. But yeah, now we're dealing with uh, an attempted heist. So uh, let's go make sure they don't. Occupied, okay. Yep, I see you there. Hey, <laughs> hey. You? Oh, hello. Dear Julie, at last, HQ is transferring me to Cairo. See you next week. Love, Harold. Okay. Well. It's actually sucking you in. Makes sense, of course. Uh, can we. How do we get rid of that? We. Don't have any explosives. I mean, don't think we'd want to use explosives in here. Uh, you don't want to use explosives on, on an airplane ever. Yeah. Uh, how are we going to get past that then? Uh, oh, here. Yeah, with the wheels. <laughs> this would act probably be freezing cold in here. Apparently, <laughs> they were raiding the kitchen. Also, I I don't think I've ever had cottage cheese, so I don't even know how it would compare or not compare at all to <laughs> potato salad. Same. I haven't eaten either. Though I, I have read of one reason why air why airplane food sucks, and that's because uh, actually the. the 
the air pressure, or rather the lowered air pressure, uh, due to the altitude, uh, affects the tongue and the sense of taste. So it, it's not it's, it's not exactly that the food just always seems to suck on airplanes, it's just that your taste sucks on airplanes. That's a new so one. For a lovely, relaxing flight. Sleep tight, lassie. You're not going to kill her? What if she wakes up? Now look here, you. I'm not going to butcher a fellow countryman with a specific grudge. If she wakes up, she can fend for herself. If she dies, then she ain't really a Scot, so I won't feel bad. Now, go get that doctor fella and do a final sweep. Take anything that looks important. Papers, files, whiskey, whatever. Yes, sir. Everything important. Is not right. All right, let's go. But some of our men are still aboard. Listen to you crying like a wee girl. They'll have to make do, won't they? <laughs> oh, my dad looks so shoppy. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the GTFO. Uh, nothing here. Left us here. Go. Hello. Uh, nothing. Oh, hello. There. This was this here before. Contains information hello. on Unity Flight U7 to London. Uh, yeah, parachute, parachute, where the hell would a uh, parachute be here? Even more. Invoice for 13 times, see how much the hell. Oh. This is quite a situation, huh? Oh, he's seriously fighting a plane? Yep. Uh oh. Nope. <laughs> uh, we're fighting the parachutists. Oop. But are they saying paratroopers after us? Basically. The closer the hell are we, anyways, with this? I don't recognize any of this l landscape. <laughs> then again, we'd rather keep our eyes on this guy, huh? Uh, fuck off, you. Hey, <laughs> the ears still in Germany or over England? Gotta keep close. On the wait, is this the Netherlands? I'm not even sure. Ooh, gotta keep oh, wait, eyes on you. Wouldn't they need to pass the Netherlands to yeah, get but, to England uh, by, uh, by I air? Don't I don't recognize it as that. Then again, we might be too close down to be able to recognize the area. Well, for me to recognize the area. Where the fuck? There you are. Gotta keep close. Come on. Excuse me, do you mind if I borrow that? Ah, 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 ah. Who's you? Just gotta stay close, come on. Get over here, you. Yeah, come on. Am I just being pushed away? Come on. Ah, crap. <laughs> crap. Really? Alien, really? Yep. <laughs> Roughly 30 seconds later. <laughs> well. <laughs> Ooh. 
Did I do it hit upon at 230 miles per hour? Uh. Oh dear. And that gave me a flashback of a game me and my brothers used to play. Oh. On a Amiga. Um, I think it was a full game or a demo, but basically you're two players falling from a plane and you're fighting over the only parachute me there. Basically the winner is the one that gets the parachute. Okay, quick saving here. Should have done that earlier. <laughs> but yeah, it seems we can miss the guy. Yeah. For some well, reason, we, it, look, uh, go on. It, it looked like we were getting pushed away from him. Maybe? So maybe we need to kill all the goons that are after us. Maybe? Before we can actually take it. Would make sense mm. since if we start, if we grabbed it and we deployed it, they'd be a, well, they'd have a very easy target in us. Where did I... there. The fuck the heck? The fuck was that scream? That sounded like a stork getting <laughs> choked. <laughs> what the yeah. hell? Uh, oh dear. Right. But I don't know what I'm about to say. I still question whose idea it was to make a game based on falling down and fighting over one parachute. Like, what kind of idea is that? Even I, as a kid, I did have fun with it, but after all, I started thinking, whose idea was this? And ain't it kind of dark and grim? Come on. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, it doesn't. Love it doesn't. I didn't actually put up the subtitles, but he he said, "Get away from me." Where's the last? There. Okay, where are you? There you are. Come on. Give me that thing. Is the forward not working or something? There we go. Please be full of hay! Please be full of hay! Yeah, this is why I remember the game, for the loser always landing in a barn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Wait, it wasn't full of hay, we know that from experience. That's a new one. Uh, but yeah, wh whatever that area is, it's not anywhere I recognize. <laughs> She's a uh. credit to her people. I, I had never heard anyone compliment someone in that matter. Okay, well, that's another mission failed. Congratulations, you have failed again. Although the circumstances were certainly extraordinary in this case, don't expect much sympathy from command. Unity cannot afford failures, however justifiable. So I think we might have been a mistake. I think this is actually Santa you know, doing the uh, voiceover. Maybe. Uh, F? Okay. I'm impressed, Agent Yeah, Archer. it was Santa. I expected that promoting you to field operations would be disastrous. But I never imagined a catastrophe of these proportions. You've now managed to botch two high-profile, high-stakes missions. Care to explain? Well, if you can master your animosity enough to address me in a civil tone, I'll attempt to explain in terms you might understand exactly how I believe we arrived at this impasse. Sir, let's not. He's going to throw us in the freaking ocean. I did my best under the circumstances. Well, now that we've seen you at your best, I'm not sure we can afford to see you on an off day. Now, now, Mr. Smith, we've had a few setbacks. 
a few setbacks. Agent Archer, I must confess that I'm troubled by the results we've seen from you thus far. But I also realize that you've been thrust into some formidable situations. Thank you, sir. Don't thank me yet. It's quite probable that things will get worse before they get better. I don't see how that's possible. Did you get a look at your assailant? Aye, that I did. Did you recognize him? Sergeant Magnus Armstrong, born in Glasgow, Scotland, 1925. Frequently in trouble as a lad due to a penchant for fighting. By all accounts, he was a good-natured, likable young man. Never bullied anybody, only picked fights with boys that were game for a brawl. Got kicked out of several schools before his parents finally stuck him in a military academy. During the war, he served as a sapper in France and Germany, everything from mine removal to demolitions and sabotage. Earned himself quite a reputation for his reckless antics. The most popular legend had to do with a bridge he allegedly crippled with nothing but a shovel and a hand grenade. A German supply train did the rest. When it reached the weakened section of the bridge, the whole structure came crashing down. It's a shame this chap ended up on the wrong side of the law. To the best of our knowledge, he's never been involved in anything this big before. Most of his arrests since returning from the war have been related to public brawling. Any theories on why he didn't simply shoot you when he had the chance? I'll be sure to ask him when I bring him in. That's assuming you get the opportunity. She just might. We may have a lead. This morning, West German custom officials in Hamburg discovered several suspicious-looking chemical containers aboard a Finnish cargo freighter. Fortunately, these chaps decided to inform us rather than seizing the contraband outright, which gives us a chance to conduct a covert investigation. You believe this is the link to Dr. Schenker? It could well be. If so, given the specific chemicals found aboard the freighter, it's a fairly safe bet the kidnappers are not only aware of Dr. Schenker's research, but also determined to capitalize upon it. If our theories are correct, the kidnappers are in Hamburg or will be arriving shortly. A good spy could find them. Fortunately, we're sending a good spy on this mission. You'll be working with him. A new partner? More like a supervisor. An American named Thomas Goodman. Perhaps you've heard of him. Aye, but I thought he was killed in Amsterdam. Nearly. He's a resourceful chap, though. He did a daring escape on a stolen bicycle with half the Dutch police force in hot pursuit and KGB agents waiting in ambush around every corner. Smashing story. I'm sure he'll recount it if you ask him. At any rate, you're to rendezvous with him in Germany and see what the two of you can dig up. You'll take your orders directly from him during this mission. Thank God. Very good, sir. Thank you. Agent Archer? Yes, sir. What was it like falling out of that plane? I promise to tell you about it sometime. I tell you she's a liability. Perhaps, but I'm not convinced yet. What will it take to convince you? How many more catastrophes must we suffer through? Because keeping her on the active list will lead to further disasters. Of that, I'm certain. Yes, I can see that you are. Our purpose is to preserve freedom, to protect innocent lives, to combat evil wherever it manifests. We can't afford to tolerate anything that stands in the way of that goal. The girl may be spirited, but she's virtually incompetent. I admire your sense of duty, but I question your judgment. I can't say that at my prime I would have performed any better than she under the circumstances. You're assuming her reports are entirely genuine. Personally, I wouldn't be at all surprised to learn that she'd colored the facts. The bloody things read like adventure novels. So now you're indicting her credibility? Does that seem unreasonable? The girl was a thief, for goodness sakes. A little skepticism seems prudent. I'll take it under advisement. Look, it's not too late to pull her off the assignment. I've read the American's file. He's perfectly capable of handling an operation like this on his own. Probably so. But I have the strangest feeling a woman's touch is exactly what we need on this one. I can't argue with you when you're like this. No, you can't. I hope you realize you're letting yourself be ruled by intuition. Reason tends to make a far more reliable counselor. You might ruminate on that adage yourself. Huh. Yeah, I... Hypocrisy is him. 
Also, noon I only see vertices. Is the stream screwing up somehow or something? Because for me yeah. it looks fine. Wait, vertices or verticals? The vertices would be the wire work of the game. <clears throat> oh, okay. Welcome to Advanced Field Tactics. I hope that won't stay that way for long. Uh, what does he mean? Uh, <clears throat> well, he did say that he uh, wasn't entirely well earlier, so... Hmm. Oh, it could just he be, feel it, a bit sick. Yeah, it could just be that he's being a bit figurative, that the graphics look a bit too crude, <laughs> and that he's messing with his head. Ah, okay, okay. contains a potent sedative capable of knocking out a horse, let alone an adult human. Just be careful not to wander into the cloud yourself, or who knows where, or even if, you'll wake up. Why don't you try it out on Leon here? He's been up for 32 hours straight working on a new prototype. The rest might do him some good. Oh, no. I'm, I'm going to check out how, what the hell happens if we walk into it ourselves. Oh, never mind. Oh, I'm pretty sure it was supposed to knock us out there, but I'm guessing it made us immune to damage and such because it's a tutorial. Noon? But I love the old games. That was shot and sharp. Yeah. I agree with you, Noon. The only games that have a certain old charm. Oops. You just... We were only looking at it, then it literally caught fly a fire, but yeah, they won't stay knocked out for long. And that's that for new toys. He was working for, on that on 36 hours straight. And you just... <laughs> here. Well, at least he had a nap of like... Two minutes. Proceed to Hamburg, West Germany, and rendezvous with Thomas Goodman, an operative from Unity's American branch. Goodman may have information concerning Dr. Schenker's whereabouts. The rendezvous will take place at Das Einsame Valkyrie, a popular beatnik nightclub in Hamburg. You will recognize Agent Goodman by his rugged good looks and the unlit cigarette he is holding in his left hand. Offer him a light. He will answer with, sorry, but I don't smoke. Once you have made contact, you will be under Agent Goodman's command. Follow his orders implicitly. And yeah, it's it's Santa who is doing the voiceover of these, not the not the jackass in no well, semi charge because he's second ha uh, in command. What? What? Whose idea was this? <laughs> Holding on the cigar and telling everyone you don't smoke. Why are you even holding us on the cigar then? I think some people but, actually did that just for the looks of it. Oh, right. <laughs> Basically that. making it an accessory. Oh, yeah. It, it, bloody, it was, it was at the, around 60, so people were still doing that idiocy. Yeah. I can see this. Smoking. It's a no-no for me. Like, people show me pictures of sexy women smoking, and I just say, no, thank you. For the mm. sight of a cigarette alone disgusts me. Yeah, I, I don't smoke myself. I have had to suffer through a lot of secondhand smoke. Uh, Same. But yeah, the main reason why is, well, because my grandmother died of lung cancer. So, yeah, good reason not to. Yeah, uh, my grandfather on my dad's side, he smoked so much that he it wrecked his voice. I would reason the Lord, he had a thick Dutch accent. I didn't know he had an accent as a kid, but I only heard how the smoke had ruined his voice. I could barely understand him at all. So he sounded more like Kermit as a real frog. Mm -hmm. More like dark, more dark and grovelly. It actually frightened me as a kid. So he sounded like Batman. 
No, more like a <laughs> Batman wall of that hobby butcher. How am I going to get in there? I demand to be let in. I'm sorry, that's impossible. But my girlfriend is inside. I understand that, but they can't let you in. Can I at least go find her? Sadly, no. Why not? Because the club is full. Nobody else is allowed. Well, can you go find her for me? I must stay here. Then can you send someone to find her? Everyone is busy. You will just have to wait. I want to speak to someone in charge. As I said, everyone is busy. If you come back tomorrow after 10 a.m., perhaps you can speak with someone then. But my girlfriend is in there now. Perhaps you should have come together. Then you would not be in this situation, and I would not have to listen to you shouting at me. I'm just getting warmed up. It's not my fault that you're out here and she is in there. It is your fault. She is your girlfriend. You should have known better than to ask her to wait for you inside a club that is known to fill up every single night. Can I please just go and find her? I said no and I meant it. Now go away or I will call the police. Fine, hunt. Nice cough. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, it. Is it always as crowded? Yeah, the place fills up every night. People come for the music. Do you think they'll let us in? I doubt it. I have to get in there. Really? Well, let me help you. I'll distract the bouncer so you can climb in through that window. Watch out for the camera, though. Thanks. My pleasure. Have fun. That was easy. Hello, big boy. Well, hello there. It sure is crowded tonight. It usually is. This place is very popular. You must meet a lot of pretty girls. Yes, but rarely do I meet enchanting ones. You're teasing. I do not tease. Promise. <laughs> Excuse me. This is all I have time for this evening. Thank you, thank you. Perhaps I will sing for you later. Ten bucks says the camera's off. Or the, the is mic so is off. Important. You need to interrupt me in the middle of a performance. You know how these people treasure my concerts. Now they will lament. Das tut mir leid, Fräulein Wagner. Of course. If they are sad. They will buy more drinks to drown their sorrows, which is good for business. But it troubles me to know that someone is unhappy because I was unable to give enough of myself. A gift like mine comes with terrible responsibility, you know. Yeah, and you have so much of yourself to give. Even such pathetic, horrible creatures as these smelly beatniks deserve some sympathy, yeah? Now then, perhaps you will care to remind me why I am talking instead of singing. Fräulein Wagner, the super spy is here. What should we do? So, the fly has rung the doorbell of the spider. You did the right thing. Let her have a few drinks. Then she goes to the water closet. Grab her and bring her to me. Am I understood? Jawohl. Good. Watch her closely. She is not to leave under any circumstances. It will be done as you have asked. If you succeed, perhaps I will be convinced to sing for you. Would you like that? Very much so, Fräulein Wagner. It would be a great honor. <laughs> then make me happy. When I am happy, I sing like a night and gale in springtime. What the heck? Yeah, <laughs> that guy sounded like he was recording in a in a room filled to the brim with gravel. Yeah, the the, the sound quality on both of them were rather yawing. And 
<laughs> she really? is very full of herself. She is not saying as good as she thinks. Yeah. Also, really, Kate? <laughs> really, you're going to knock an open door? Uh, well, don't knock it until you tried it, I guess. Literally. Yeah, it... What the heck is happening, chat? Hmm? What, what is that? Uh, shouting... <laughs> some things? <laughs> Love your outfit. I do too. Can I talk you out of it? <laughs> well, I guess she's good with uh, him going after other women as well. Boo for a line. Boo. That was horrible. Wait, is that the guy from the? <laughs> is that the guy from the encryption department? <laughs> oh, that would be so utterly hilarious. I thought the music was terrible. How can you say that? It's unconventional, certainly, but that's what makes it so compelling. It's not compelling, it's just bad. Well, what do you know about music anyway? Maybe it's just too sophisticated for my taste. Personally, I like music that has a melody. How passe. Anyone can sing a melody, but it takes a true artist to defy a melody, especially with such passion and courage. Where are you going? Somewhere else. Oh. I do gotta say, I, I quite like dresses like this. They're simple, but they're fancy in a simple way. Not overly done like a lot of fashion these days. I, I, I don't like. As I, like I, I like how it's how it's shaped, but I don't like some of the color patterns. Like that, that, that one was just a checkerboard. Yeah. Hello. The show ended early tonight. I hope there's another set later. Let's see. Ze kunnen nacht hier weer de steen wachten. Okay, I'm I'm drawing blanks on this one. What most of it is saying. Let's see. Nothing okay, here. The more, the more thing about it, there's a lot of clothing in the sixties. Sixties that I feel like, oh, oh, a lot of hit and miss. Like I see some I do like, but also seeing a lot of I. Really dislike. So far, I think the ancient V players had some good ones, but it, it, I don't really see in 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 BC ones I really liked. Nothing to talk to with him. Leave me alone. Okay, grumpy. Let's see. Goodman's not here yet. Find the manager's office and poke around for useful information. Okay. Prevent civilian casualties, of course. These cramps are killing me. You have nothing to say. What the heck? And yeah, the architecture of this place, uh, and the design. Well, I don't. Not sure if it, you would count it the architecture, but uh, it's certainly something. Yeah, it. It looks like a nightclub. Yes, yes. It almost feel like from wrong era. I wonder where my boyfriend is. He asked me to meet him here. Oh. I think your boyfriend is waiting outside. Really? Thank you. Here, I found this sitting on the table. Thank you. Uh. <clears throat> Pardon? Ugh. In concert this Tuesday, Ferlin Wagner and the Valkyries. And yeah, the name of this place translates to the Lonely Valkyrie. Oh. And oh, sleep well, though, Nguyen. Yeah, rest up well, and hope you'll be better by tomorrow. Yeah. Rest up proper, properly. You be. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I quick saved right before that. Oh, thank goodness. For otherwise, I was. I don't know what I would have done. 
Holy bonk you. This thing isn't even... Yeah, this thing is basically stealth. Wait, no. Why is it not make... They hold this thing up. <laughs> Most of the other ones we could hear from outside, from the next room over. Yeah. Through entire walls. What's with him? Uh, please refrain from dumping beer into the can canal beside, uh, behind. You have received three citations already this month. Okay. Okay, now I see what you mean with about the name. No, actually, when I actually read the title, I I can see it. it the ensam Valkyrian would we say in Swedish? And well, he's asleep with all of the Z's above his head. Who does with Z's? Okay, now to find Goodman. I was debating if there were bubbles or flies. <laughs> Well, if he was drunk, he would probably be attracting both of those. Oops, she's heading outside. And yeah, Goodman's here. Like, he doesn't stand out. <laughs> would you care for a light? Thanks, but I don't smoke. You're holding a cigarette. Am I? Well, what do you know? I guess old habits die hard. Say, can I borrow a dime? I want to call my mom and tell her I just met the girl of my dreams. I gave my last dime to a worthwhile charity. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> she doesn't need the light to burn him. I wasn't expecting a woman. You weren't briefed. They just said meet Agent Archer at 8 p.m. Well, I'm Agent Archer. So I gathered. Didn't the code phrase tip you off? I thought it was a little unusual, but I figured, hey, it's Europe. Things are different over here. Scotch and soda. Will you have a drink? Old granddad, bring the bottle, a tumbler, and a bowl of ice. Goodness, are you celebrating? Compensating, actually. How sad for you. So tell me, Ms. Archer. Oh, now don't start with that. What? There's no need to patronize me. Was I patronizing you? Yes, you were. Well, I'm sorry, but I didn't realize I was going to have to babysit on this assignment. I may be a woman, but that doesn't mean I can't take care of myself. Oh, I get it. You're one of those women's livers. Dress up in men's clothing, ride motorcycles, smoke cigars, that kind of thing. Just because I can take care of myself doesn't mean I'm not a woman. They're not mutually exclusive, you know. But isn't the point of women's liberation to allow young ladies like yourself to become men? The point is to allow young ladies to become whatever they please. Ouch. Well, if you're as deadly with a pistol as you are with your tongue, you can watch both our backs. All right, I will. So what's the plan? Well, the first thing is to find out who the goon is. Excuse me? You're being watched. If you can lure him someplace quiet, I'll jump him and find out what he's after. That's very noble of you, but I think I can handle that little fellow. Suit yourself. Where should I ambush him? Try the ladies' room. What? You think he'll follow me into the loo? Heck yeah, look at him. He's concentrating so hard on not being noticed, he'd probably follow you into heavy traffic without a second thought. Anyway, you'll certainly be justified interrogating him, won't you? I'd be justified in doing worse than that. Just make sure you question him first. I'll be waiting by the stage. Be wary of the operetta. It's a bit enthusiastic. I can take it. Ow! Did she just chuck a coin at us? <laughs> Door, then. I think she chucked a coin at the back of her head, Kate's head. And, uh, yeah, Mr. Subtlety here. <laughs> uh. And also, did they, did they get along or what? Uh, I'd say they can tolerate each other at the very least. 
Though I know some people who would probably want to kick Goodman in the balls for some of his lines there. Yeah, I don't know if he was sincere or just testing her. I gotta say, I like this dude just for the, how unsubtle he is with everything. It's that little wiggle. Oh, it's like he's lady. trying not to dance. Right. Is he you? No. Were you both equal? Actually, no, man. You, you, this is a real case of you all better spy than him. <laughs> uh, also, uh, they, they didn't need to have him follow, actually follow you. They could have just let you go in here and immediately cut to this. Wait, what? Good man. Okay. Looking for someone? I think they got the point. livened up okay we we only have 10 bullets <laughs> okay nothing hidden in here nope okay oh, no, please, don't. okay there we go did well they Damn it. <laughs> they killed him before What's I... Going on? Okay. Uh, rendezvous with age and prevent severe casualties. We can... There can be three total, I believe it was. So we... Oh, hello. Who left this here? Oh yeah, we need to go find Goodman. Wait, did we just get shot across around the corner? Those, oh, those are beer barrels. <laughs> Not too used to games having explosive barrels in them. Why well, we keep barrels of explosives? Barrels of explosives in a nightclub. All fuel. You don't keep fuels in wooden barrels. <laughs> uh, sunglasses. There, there are, yeah, those are wooden wood barrels. Okay, gotten that. To all employees, from Arno Kirschner, uh, sleeping on duty will not be tolerated. 50 uh, Deutschmark will be paid to any employer reporting a co-worker for this infraction. That's going to make people hate you in, on the job. Okay, we're going to need all the ammo we can get our hands on. Okay, Blondie tried to use this thing as cover, but uh, he would have been better off <laughs> pushing it over. Really? <laughs> you're, going, you're getting into a firefight and you're concerned about the soup? Hey, it's uh, a good soup. It tastes wonderful, actually. I hear it's lizard right. tail. Lizard eats their own tail, you know. <laughs> actually, yeah. Yeah, as long as when they drop the tail, they will return for it and eat it. It's is there what it's it's where they keep the fat reserves. Some even I actually learned that some lizard intentionally rips it, rip off their own tail to eat it. 
It'll it'll take a bit, quite a bit of nutrients to grow it back, though. Yeah, but it's a bit of a survival method, and it also depends on like some lizards are better at grooming back the tails than others. However, it can also go very wrong when doing so. Like apparently, some end up grooming seven tails. You okay? I suppose, although I think someone might have tried to drug me. Something stung the back of my neck as I was heading for the ladies' room. Might have been a dart. How do you feel now? Not bad. Meet me at this address in one hour. Why not go together? I want to poke around and see who these people are. They may be linked to harm. Are you sure it's safe? Hell no. It's reckless and dumb, but that's not going to stop me. Well, good luck then. What should I do if you don't make it? Don't worry, doll. I'll make it. If you say so. Head backstage. A friend of mine's waiting in the alley. He'll get you out of here. Just tell him you're with me. You think he'll believe me? He will if you tell him my code name. I don't know your code name. Bold Eagle. <laughs> Good God. What's so funny? Nothing. See you later, Bold Eagle. Not oh. if I see you first. Okay. Uh, Who's yes and with that? <laughs> yeah, first, extremely American. Secondly, easily misheard to Bald Eagle. Okay, is there anything further in this direction? Oop. You again. You get around. <laughs> Caroline Wagner, per our conversation, I have initiated an internal investigation regarding the, the supposed expandability directive from the executive director, Franz. Okay. Is that him? Yeah, doubtful. Uh, also, was it... Uh, I need to double check, but uh, Volkov was the something director. It must be meaning him. Uh, actually, I think we've found a I think we found a piece of intelligence before that spoke of an, uh, uh what was the word again? Bonstein? No, uh, not that, but, uh, replaceability, yes, uh, directive or something. Yep. Uh, <laughs> it just looks stupid. Wasn't this extremely rare for some games? Yeah. No. I think most of why they were able to do this rather practically, but when the technology advanced, mm. mirrors became harder to do. Wait. Yeah, the mirror is actually behind on the, these actions. Yeah. Case improved just what I said that was easier in the beginning, but with its technology advanced, it became a bit more difficult before it got easy to do again, and... Uh, yeah! <laughs> Part of me gets the feeling that the... I think there's... I'm not so sure if it's actually mirroring or if there's just some screwery going around in with that. Let's see. Contains a book on criminal psychology by Dr. Melvin Fitzroy. Okay. Ah, there we go. Also, why do all of these agents look like freaking Inspector Gadget? <laughs> I guess I'll have to improvise. Oh, and we got phosphor rounds, it seems. Wait, what? Yeah, 9mm phosphorus. As in... White phosphorus Burn. and such. But... Burning ammo? Yep. That, 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 that's one way to call it, right? Burning ammo? Yep. Oh, well, or, or burning bullets. Um, so much for that way out. Actually, w w what's the point of uh, those ammunitions? To, well, disable an, a target a lot faster since, well, getting shot already freaking hurts. But if the wound is on fire, <laughs> I think. Uh, What's in all those kegs anyway? Beer. 
We supply Harm's entire staff with the finest Deutsch brews. Really? That must be a lot of beer. Indeed. Our studies show that criminals drink three times as much alcohol as law-abiding citizens. So beer turns people into criminals? A correlation doesn't imply causality. Just because criminals drink a lot of beer doesn't mean that beer causes crime. It's possible that people with criminal tendencies enjoy beer because it helps to soothe their conscience. Or perhaps criminal behavior is caused in part by a genetic predisposition that also, coincidentally, makes criminals like the taste of beer more than the average person. Who knows? You're very knowledgeable about these things. Criminal sociology is a hobby of mine. I think it's important to understand not just the individual psychological roots of one's behavior, but also the social circumstances that foster that behavior. Whether we like it or not, we are shaped by our environment. Surely you're not suggesting that individuals aren't accountable for their actions. Oh, no, of course not. Just because we are products of the societies we're born into doesn't absolve us of personal responsibility. Our religions and laws teach us what is right and what is wrong. Frequently, the right choice is the more difficult path to take. It requires sacrifice, self-discipline, patience, virtues that many of us find somewhat lacking in our natures. But what if you're born into a hedonistic culture? Look across history. The reason hedonism is discouraged by most religions and governments is that it weakens a civilization. It breeds sloth, petulance, degeneracy, and selfishness. A divided nation is a fragile nation waiting to be conquered. Unity is strength. Humans instinctively fashion order out of chaos. It is a natural, probably genetic impulse. Therefore, even an individual born into troubled times has the capacity, and even the duty, to behave in a manner that promotes unity, however difficult it may be. Then what about us? I can only speak for myself. I am a product of a broken household, which introduced a general lack of self-confidence in me at a very early age. These feelings of inadequacy blossomed into anger as I matured, that the rigors of adolescence with the teasing and abuse and awkwardness we must all endure only exacerbated. But even though I've identified the source of my problems, I'm still too childish and petty to become a responsible, mature citizen. Well, admitting you have a problem is the first step, I suppose. I like to think so. What the heck? <laughs> that took a full three minutes, I believe. Well... Oh, you know what? It's, it's, he's some right, right about some things, but... Rest? Uh, I guess we found his book. Yep. There, there, there was also a lot of things I feel like I would sort of shake my head like, yes, oh, wait, we, we all silence shape for our environment, sure. So we did go on a bit of a tension there. Hello, lads. Let's see, will they stay knocked out or will they wake up like the researcher? Hello, boys. Good night, boys. Really? <laughs> Did you just... I I managed to break <laughs> so it's light with the perfume bottle. But you... failed to... knock them out. There was a the weird leg movement again, but I, I think one of them got knocked out, but then woken up by the commotion. That's right. Yep. Let's deal with that as well. And I think that's our escape. And yeah, sadly we had to kill the... Oh, hello. What hello. The... <laughs> hello, Oza Melp. Uh, thank you for the raid. <laughs> Hope you'll enjoy the show. Uh, though we should be finishing in about five and a half minutes. <laughs> think, still all the same thank you. Uh, let me... Let me give you a shout out that that should work slash so uh, ozo malp there we go uh, anyone watching go give them a look as well then and uh yeah how was your stream and how is your day 
Oh, bloody heck. <laughs> you, you again got startled by that? Yeah, I... I that, that caught me off guard. <laughs> More than uh, lots of call uh, guards. Yeah, I almost thought we were getting jumped by a guard as well again. But uh, yeah, welcome to the operative Nomalist Forever, one of Monolith's earlier games. Oh. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, this is a very 60s game. Oh, dear. Let's see. 45% accuracy. And, oh, we got a health bonus. Okay. Wait. Health bonus? I did not know... I didn't know we could get bonuses. Uh, I think it's from the intelligence granting, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's see. Stream was okay. Not so much fun with the games, but well, how how is your stream? I already finished Technomage. I didn't watch all the YouTube videos uh, through. Uh, yeah, you know, Technomage is done. Uh, I'm just late on uh, yeah publishing the uploaded videos. Uh, I'm what? really really freaking behind on that. Hold uh, on, hold on. Hmm? I thought you had already uploaded all of them by now. now they it are is a uploaded. Technomage. Yeah, they, they're all uploaded, but they aren't published yet. Uh, I, I could publish them during work breaks, but then I wouldn't be able to put in the links uh, tying each video together. Do I, I think I just putting them all into a playlist should probably be enough and uh, leave it at that. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll still try and see and do a bit of extra work on that. But yeah, I, I, tomorrow I'll, I'll see about publishing all of the videos that are remaining, which are quite a few. There is a oh, Unity yeah. safe house in Bremen, near the docks where you are to rendezvous with Agent Goodman. Stop there on your way and submit a status report to command. You should also equip yourself for the mission ahead. Okay. And back to the advanced field tactics area. What was the name of that nightclub again? Das Einsame Valkyrie. Ah, yes, here it is. The proprietor's name is Wagner. Inga Wagner. Ring any bells? We've got a file on her. She's supposedly a distant relation of Richard Wagner's, although I don't believe that connection has ever been adequately established. Nonetheless, as a child, she was constantly pressured by her parents to become an opera singer, presumably in order to continue the family legacy. The only problem was that she was completely tone deaf. The combination of her parents' unyielding devotion and the inevitable series of rejections she encountered once she began to audition seems to have warped her mind in unhealthy ways. As a young woman, she had several run-ins with the West German authorities, initially involving complaints about her impromptu public concerts, but eventually blossoming into allegations of smuggling, extortion, money laundering, and even murder. It's entirely possible she's fallen in with harm. Find out what you can. Very good, sir. Be careful, Archer. I'll be fine. Welcome to Advanced Field Tactics. Yeah, I don't think uh, there are many tone-deaf opera singers out there. We've modified your cigarette lighter. It now features a built-in miniature welder. The flame should be just hot enough to cut through padlocks that can't be picked or shot off. Look for locks with dials instead of keyholes. Try welding these locks off. Go. Oh, oh we can no. always switch it back. I do like that there's little animations for these. And there you go. Tougher locks take more time to work through, of course. We've developed yeah, a new lipstick explosive for you. This one has a three second timer which will allow you to bank it around corners or seek cover before it detonates. Yep. <laughs> Another of these. So, there we go. And that's all the toys. Excellent. Oh, come on. 
I'm so bloody bored. I never have any fun. Oop. Elbow. We'll see more of those later. For now... Are those a surely ancient reference? Docks. Your first goal will be to get aboard the cargo freighter. Once aboard, you must locate the captain's log and the shipping manifest. Also, photograph any suspicious chemical containers you find. Oh, yeah. I just noticed that this is a slower version of the main theme, where a part of that was there. Uh, oh but, dear. Yeah, we've hit our two hours, so let's still do. Yeah, let's still get the introduction for the next mission, but then we'll have to call it there. And it looks like Sine Vaben has been, has just gone online, so we might rate them. Let's see. Rendezvous with Goodman. Get aboard the freighter. Photographed manifest. The captain's log. And we have tracking beacon in the radio room. Let's see. What's our default? We have this, the Shepherd. Timed explosive. The carbon again. Been a while since we had that. The glasses, cigarette lighter, coin, and beret. Well, I noticed that uh, despite the revolver being named as uh, Kate's signature firearm, that she doesn't actually get it most of the time. That's a bit weird. Then again, I'm still surprised they we had a criminal god. Speaking about the criminal psychology. Hmm. What's the difference here? Hampton MLP 9mm and alternate version? I don't see a difference. Anyways, we need this. The sunglasses and lighter are required. Coin and the other way are optional. Okay, silencer for the you know, Shepherd. Scope for the Hampton. We don't get any other action. We don't get any other accessories, but we can bring along the fire extinguisher, which reduces burn damage caused by phosphorus rounds, scalding steam, and other heat sources. Wait. This looks what? like the place. No, and no introduction to this, huh? Two hours later, Bremen Harbor. Okay. Uh, I feel like more games should allow Helion here to bring fire extinguishers. Okay, uh, but yeah, we'll have to call it there for tonight, though, especially since we're already late. And uh, yeah, uh, you probably and you already noticed that I changed the overlay somewhat, and that's because well, I didn't really make. I basically tore the overlay apart in its different parts, which now can be moved around separately because I keep getting uh, dissatisfied with how things look. So it's a lot easier for me to move things around like this. And it also allows me to, if I shut off the screen capture, have this part be shown. Though the border will make okay. it look really odd. But yeah. <clears throat> uh, I also changed it up on the pre-scene. Still need to move the chat there, because... Yeah, I just keep getting distracted with stuff. Uh, for now, let me bring all the images back onto my screen so I can actually see what I'm doing. Uh, there we go. And let's go look for someone to raid. And that probably flashbangs you again. Yep. I, I, re I still don't get what the hell is causing that with OBS and Discord. Uh, let's see. Right. Uh, it's Tatum and Liltree are both doing our streams, it seems. And then we have uh, Xine uh, Benven, uh, who is a streamer I have collaborated with on uh, another friend's uh, stream. Uh, they are do playing Lawn Mowing Simulator. Oh, oh no. Okay. <laughs> I seen that last week. I just accidentally saw Markiplier play that. <laughs> uh, just in case uh, some others to po potentially rate there is 
Zykozilla, who is streaming Backpack Heroes. Okay. Joey Joe 521, uh, uh, 521, who is streaming Shin Tagami Tensei 5. Uh, Bandrick, who is streaming Foxhole, which is a game I've played for a bit with a friend of mine who is a lot more into it. Uh, basically, it's a uh, basically it's an isometric uh, World War II shooters, but it also involves the logistics of a World War II shooter. So you have to go actually make every damn uh, rifle, pistol, and bullet that gets used. And yeah, it's an MMO, so of course it's yeah, faction against faction, so things get pushed like back and forth a lot. It is interesting, right. but it's it's something that you w would want to get into with friends. An MMO? Yep. Okay, yeah, that's a lot to take in then. A lot of um, work. Let's see, then we have SK the Crusader, who is streaming Crusader Kings 3. And um, let's see, Fuzzy Freaks, who is streaming Red Dead on Redemption. Is it Red Red Redemption 2 or... Okay, their title says SDRP, Moss. So I don't know what the hell that... It's probably... Okay, okay it is Red Dead Redemption 2. The pop-up just came from holding it over them a long bit. Then we have Sniper and Wib, who, are, who is or are... Uh, Picture looks like two people, so it's a collaboration channel. They are streaming Star Trek Armada. Hmm. Now, any of them sound interesting to raid, or shall we go with uh, Jinnabe Ven? Uh, what did they play again? A lawn mowing simulator. Really? <laughs> really? Well, we could go after, we could go to Lil Tree or Tatum as well, but they're doing art. Not to speak down on that, but uh, I think be, most people would find gameplay to be more interesting. Uh, it depends on the people. Though, watching art sounds more than watching someone uh, move the lawn. <laughs> okay, so it'd be Lil Tree or Tatum then? Oh, good question. Good question. I, I, I usually say lead three, but let, let's li give a little, little potato a visit. <laughs> okay. Wait, little wait, why, why do I call Tatum little potato? <laughs> Either way, copy paste, head to our own channel, and slash raid. Okay. Uh, but before we start, of course, uh, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you noon from your round and hope you had a, have a good sleep tonight and hope you'll feel better tomorrow. And of course, thank you as well for the raid. Also, Melp, Algum, oh, let me actually, let's see, can I open that? Uh, can I get to your channel without, yeah, there we go. I'll give the VOD a, a look a bit later. But for now, thank you again for the raids, and thank you as well for watching, even if we only showed up at the end. It's all the same, appreciated. And I might need to move this box. I might need to. I might need to move the event box here a bit. I just noticed on the stream. Yeah. I, okay. I think this is because of the brightness settings of my monitors, but on my main monitor it looks a, a, quite a bit darker. So let me just. It's very uh, bright it? to me. Yeah, it's on the brighter monitor. Both are actually set to zero brightness, and still it's brighter than the other. And there we go. Event box. Transform. Edit. And then just... Bright. Bright. Okay, so that's all. So causes that. Okay, odd. I'll, I'll just put it up there quickly. I might move it more later. Uh... But yeah, uh, I'll get to publishing all of the remaining videos on YouTube. It is quite a batch, so yeah, it'll f it'll have Technomage completely finished along with some several other games that followed. Uh, I think besides this one, there's only two other fresh videos that still need to be uploaded, but I'll get to publishing first before I start uploading again. But yeah. As for anyone else who might be watching now or later, thank you as well as all the same. And uh, yeah, let's start the raids. And yeah, I'm not forgetting you. Thank you as always as well, Drakir. You're welcome as always, Captain. 
And uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, a, a late stream today. Sadly, no double stream as we wished, but that we do, uh, we can still do a double stream tomorrow, on which we'll do uh, Showcase Sunday finally again on the early time uh, slot. And in the late time slots, we can get started on the new Shantae game. Yay! <laughs> which will mean that we have done. Well, we haven't done Shantae one, but it will be you know, the third of the Shantae games that we are starting our that we're streaming ourselves. So yeah, uh, thank you all again, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then, be safe, people, and watch out for uh, um, gremlins and uh, criminal criminal psychologists. <laughs> yeah, that's a complete mess. <laughs> What the, oh, wrong button. Bye-bye. <laughs>